Happy Father's Day. Today you win, not just because it's Father's Day, but because I have something really exciting. I just recently found out about the Seek XR, which is a device that you plug into your smartphone, either an Android 4.4 operating system or higher, or your iPhone 5 or newer, I believe. And basically what this is, is it's a really inexpensive way to be able to see the unseen, as they say. And whether you got what you wanted for Father's Day or not, doesn't matter. If you got what you want, lucky you. If you didn't get what you want, lucky you. There's a link in the description for this little guy. Now there's a lot of gadgets and gadgets and things out there. <laughs> Everybody's thinking of Gidget from the 1950s show. Uh, but there's a lot of things out there that you unbox, you use for a little bit, and then you set aside. This is probably not going to be one of those things. This is a really useful tool, and that's why I'm going to do a tool review on it. As many of you are here, because you subscribe to my auto repair videos, um, you know that I'm going to relate this to the automotive field. Uh, but this relates to many, many other fields. Uh, this is really handy for if you do insulation. I mean, you can't do your job without something like this these days and know that you did it well. There's no way to really check on that outside of something like this. And boy, is it effective. Um, if you're a plumber, you can see where the leaks, you know, if there's a leak in the wall and there's cold water dripping down, hot water dripping down, you'll be able to see and quickly track where it came from, know where to cut the hole in the sheetrock, that sort of thing. If you like to do things in the outdoors and you want to check on wildlife, uh, it's great. Um, for security purposes, you hear something in the backyard, it's pitch black, you can't see anything. Perfect for that. Um, if you're hunting and you want to see where the animals are moving or where they're going at night and it's dark and you can't see, perfect for that. Um, if you do electronics or any kind of soldering, this is amazing for doing electronics to see what gets hot and what doesn't. If you have any kind of power strips in your home, you can use this to see what's getting hot, what's a power vampire and costing you money and not. You can save money on your insulation, heating, and power costs with this. Uh, you can save your house from burning down with this. I know that sounds like a far stretch, like a fear tactic. I hate fear tactics. But literally, this can save your house from burning down if you use it properly. Fire departments use these all the time. If somebody calls to the fire department because they smell something burning in the home, what's the first thing they grab? Besides something to put a fire out, an extinguisher or a hose or something, they grab a thermal camera. Now, the thermal camera that they're using is about $5,000. This is not $5,000. This is the fancy pants, nice, upgraded, more expensive of the two available, and it's only $300. The reason why is that your phone, which collectively we've made inexpensive, if they were rare like a thermal camera, these phones would probably be about two or three grand, or five grand, or whatever. They have such processing power, but because they're produced in bulk, they're able to do them cheaper, and this is gonna do a lot of the grunt work for your thermal imaging. So you marry these two together and you have something that's just amazing, match made in heaven. I have in uh, my possession a Samsung 5S, and this thing's great because you can get two days worth of battery out of this thing. Now this is great over some of the other options that have been available recently because it's not, because it's not a phone case at, and then you have to charge the battery on your phone, and then you have to separately charge the battery on the FLIR 1. It does come with a case, and it's itty bitty teeny tiny, you can see it fits in the palm of your hand, but it's a very small little thing where you can leave your existing phone case on, and it's a universal uh, type adapter. Now, if you have an iPhone, you're going to recognize that this is going to be the iPhone one. They make one for the iPhone, I believe the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 6 will work. Any Android phone operating system 4.4 or higher, I believe, works. Check to see if it's gonna work for you. It doesn't work on every smartphone, because like I say, smartphones have finally come along to where they can do the heavy lifting to make a product like this work. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the footage that I've taken with it, and I'll show you a little bit of the ins and outs that I've discovered. Enjoy. That's a hot car. No, seriously. That is a hot car. Not fun, you can see that the brakes are the hottest part just looking at it. Look at those back brakes. So it says the front brakes are about 170 degrees, right in around there. Of course, accuracy is gonna change with how close you are. But what a fun, what a fun tool and what an inexpensive price. It's so functional for you know, something that's so small and so easy to use. You plug it into your phone and go. Of course, there's a lot of different color palettes and things that you can do. Uh, you can turn the screen off so that it doesn't scroll to the regular screen like that. 
The zoom is really close and I don't remember it being that close when I first got it. I think I've messed up something in the settings to zoom it in like that. But as I said, you can change the color palette. You can pick, oh this is actually pictures that I've taken. So there's a gallery, obviously you can capture, you just saw that. Uh, you can get into here and you can go to your color palette and you can choose whatever you like whatever's appealing or whatever seems to show the best the one I started with obviously is the one that I like the best but there's the night vision mode that's like the reverse there is like that you can rotate your screen we've got to help us improve thing terms and policies image preferences um, you can get image smoothing or non image smoothing you can also turn the dial and focus the image See, that's a really focused, sharp image that you see there. Um, you can do an aspect ratio of 4.3, like a little square, or you can do, do the 16.9. There are just lots of cool stuff that you can do with this. Uh, watermarks, you can turn off the Seek logo at the bottom or turn it back on. There, now you can see it. You put the date and time on it, you can put the location on it, temperature unit, Celsius, Kelvin. You can do this and it'll show the highest temperature and lowest temperature or you can just show uh, temperature wherever that is so you can aim that at whatever is glowing and get the highest temperature off of that or you can show a range and set a threshold say you only want to see things that are above 110 degrees you can set that so things over 110 you've got that little spot on the light Got that little spot in the engine bay. It says regular thermal images can be viewed and recorded, so that goes to your camera. Um, here's where that uh, color change thing is, the color palette. Let me go back to iron or amber. Amber looks pretty good. Let's see if we can sharpen that image. So anyway, really cool little nifty thing. You get the most detail with white. And all that kinetic energy and all the weight this goes right to the rotors. Say you're doing something with a green board and something you want to see if it's getting hot, where it's getting hot, or you just did a project, you get it set back up and you want to watch it and see what's going on on that circuit board. It is amazing for that. Uh, but you already got your soldering iron out and I found that if you use your soldering iron you can actually point to things with it. This green board's actually toast, but let's heat something up here. So we're going to heat up the solder. You can actually watch and see the heat dispersion from your soldering iron. So there's that, and then you introduce the soldering iron and you can see where you're pointing to. So I'm not touching the, the board or the device or whatever, but I can still pinpoint and see what it is. If you're a mechanic, you know, obviously if I do a lot of soldering as a mechanic, that's really handy. But also for braking, if you think that your brakes are dragging, you can look at the wheel and you can see if one side's hotter than the other side just by looking at it. Uh, you can see the color gradient, but you can also do the temperature thing. I gotta be quiet and quick because it's late. But you can see there's a house right here and you don't see what's there. But when you put this thing up there, now you can see the house pretty clearly. Furthermore, you can see the horse. There's two of them there. There's one that's standing up and one that's laying down. What I'll do is I'll wait till tomorrow morning and I'll basically uh, show how far away it is with the laser rangefinder. But this thing is just freaking amazing. You can tell the difference between the concrete and the house and the rooftops. I mean, you can even make out the clouds. It's just insane. Uh, this XR is just very impressive. To get a similar result, you'd spend over a thousand dollars, and here you get this little thing on your camera. And uh, like I say, you can trim this back, and you can see the, the lights and the houses and stuff. But talk about being able to see where you couldn't see before, and with enough detail to where you can tell that that's a horse that once it's facing to the left for crying out loud you put this down and you can't see anything 
If I were to take my high power flashlight and shine it out there, you might be able to see a little bit, but I mean, that says somebody's fence, and the further out is where the horses are. Look out, that's the horse that we were looking at last night. I don't know if that's going to show up. Can't really see it through this, but it's 140 yards. That's pretty good. So I was cruising around on the golf cart and I found a couple of little heat signatures on some farmland. I thought it was raccoons or I thought it might be coyote or something or a couple of them. So I slide it over, you can see their eyes. And then I slide it over and then use a flashlight and just kind of verify what it was. It turns out it was just a couple of goats. They're in their pen there. But it was so pitch black, as you saw before, you couldn't see anything. I was just totally in the dark, relying on the, the temp thermal imaging. To the naked eye, you couldn't even see those eyes. It's just the cell phone picks up on it. So here's a thermal picture that I took in the pitch black of my truck. I had just gone to go rescue my aunt and do some plumbing repair for her. Uh, she was flooding out some stuff. You can see the Cummins emblem, and you can also see where it says Ram 2500. Now if I wasn't using a camera to film my phone, you'd be able to see a lot sharper image than that. But there you can see where it says Ram 2500 in the Cummins. There's a little bit closer. The resolution on it is pretty remarkable. If I didn't have such big, fat, thick steel wheels, you'd be able to see the brake rotor a little better, but you can see a lot of the heat from the engine. This is the trailer. You can see the wheels here. Now this it doesn't have any kind of a superimposed image. This is this is just the thermal image that you're looking at. You can see the rails on the trailer and the deck. It's really impressive. There's the front of the Subaru WRX Rex. There's the back. You can see the heat underneath of it. You can see the cabin's a lot cooler. So this is, a, this is her in the mirror. And then you see her in person. There she is. And then we're going to go to the sink here. I've cued her to turn the sink on to hot water. You can see the hot water pouring into the sink. And then we'll go below here in a minute and we'll look at the pipes. If you're, uh, if you're into doing anything with wildlife, whether it's photography, hunting, whatever, obviously this has a lot of advantages. If you're a plumber, this has a lot of advantages. When I went to unclog the drain for my aunt, I should have brought this. I forgot it. But what we would have seen is we would have seen cold water in the thing. You see the little catch elbow here. You can see the hot water in the valve and everything. And we're going back up and we've switched it to cold water. And you can see the difference. You can see the dark purple color. Then we'll go back down and watch and see what it looks like. This thing's really fun to play with, but with a little imagination. And if you're a do-it-yourself renaissance kind of guy like I am, I mean, think of all the applications you could use this on. Um, again, for using it on a pipe or something. See, there's a cold water pipe going up. You can see that the elbow, the little P-trap there. This is what my workbench looks like to the naked eye. This is what it looks like with the infrared. You can see all kinds of things that are hot. So the one on the right is a soldering iron which I've turned on. And you can see the heat accumulating against the power strip there. I had never noticed that before. And I left it on too long. That's the alarm clock that you see right there. There's a charging station. As you go along the workbench, you can see uh, there's a lot of heat on those two plugs. They call those power vampires. Basically, they use uh, resistors which get hot in order to reduce the voltage. Underneath of that is a battery charger with no batteries in it and another battery charger. It's not doing anything at the moment below it. Let me see if I can focus this a little bit. This XR requires a little focusing. See, there we get a much clearer picture. It's only 9 hertz, so there's another battery charger on the end. But look at all that heat that's being wasted. So what am I going to do about it? Turn off the soldering iron. That was turned on just for the video. But I'm going to unplug my power vampires. Or another thing to do is put them on a strip and just turn them all off together. With this, this is a really fun toy, but there are a lot of practical applications. Look at the power companies, all the rebates that they're doing. Power company, gas company, they will pay to have your house insulated better because they know that the money that they save in being able to have excess utilities available to sell to California, um, basically it's worth their investment. And so 
it just depends on you and how you use it. There's certainly ways that you can definitely have this pay for itself. Uh, utility savings is one, you know, like we showed here. Uh, being able to complete a job for hire or save money doing a job yourself. I mean, it's just a no-brainer to me. Uh, dude, how could I not do this? 300 bucks, it's usually over a thousand. And above all else, it's fun. It is a fun, cool tool. I found this on Amazon and I just bought the sucker. I just snatched it right up because I didn't even know that the technology existed, let alone that it was this good. I mean, the regular one that's $200 that does a good job is worth buying. And then I found this one that does the extended range so that you can look at a hillside or your backyard or whatever, you know, intruder kind of stuff, that uh, sort of thing that I was telling you about. And an intruder could be a coyote, it could be the neighbor's dog, it could be a cat, it could be anything. Uh, but with this, you can at least locate and identify what it is. This thing works really well. I've been able to identify animals at 140 yards. Now think about that. That's 420 feet away. That's pretty good. One of the things that I was a little bit concerned with with this particular product, if I may say so, is this. It rattles a little bit. Now when it's taking pictures and images, it'll rattle, but that's a little bit of a concern. Now we, we've said that it doesn't film through light, so there's no lens to protect it. Overall, I'm very impressed with it. One of the things that I really like is that when you plug it in, as I demonstrated, you know, I'm not pushing any buttons on the phone. I'm not doing anything. You just put it in your phone, bam, you're ready to go. You're up and running. It's super convenient. See, if you look here, there's only one application that you have to download. You don't have to do five of them like the FLIR one for your iPhone. It's super convenient. Everything about it is just super easy to use. If you want to go to your gallery, bam, it's right there in the corner. You can go to your gallery. You can look through all the different images that you want. Uh, another thing that you can is go to a macro view like this. Now, I haven't figured out exactly how to import these very well. I wanted to get this up in time for Father's Day. I know that sometimes Father's Day is a complete dud for me and I wind up buying my own Father's Day present. <laughs> and if, if your Father's Day has been a dud, this is perfect for you. You know, you have my permission, you go ahead and get it. I'm going to put an Amazon link in the bottom. I get a tiny percentage of any purchases through there. It doesn't cost you any more. But if you click through the link on Amazon that I have in the description, um, that does give me a little bit of funding and then I can go and buy more things like this. This is one that I bought off of Amazon, in fact. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully this is a solution to your problems. Uh, but basically, it, as creative as you are, like if you're a plumber, you'll be able to find pipes that are blocked. If you're an electrician, you'll be able to find circuits that are hot. If you're a mechanic, you'll be able to use this when you're doing soldering. You'll be able to use it. Uh, anybody who's a homeowner can check their insulation and save money on their bills. This one, the extended range one, is $300. The close range one, which is more equivalent to about everything else, Flare often says that you want to be within arm's length of whatever you're scanning. Do this thing does it from way out, but there is one that's a close range one, and that one's two hundred dollars. I'll put a link for that in the description too. Um, if you were to go out and buy a comparable, like an I4 or something, a flare gun, they're going currently. I looked on Amazon and Google shopping, and they're going for like seven hundred bucks. Don't have the image overlay when you're looking at your images like this. I mean, that's what you get. There's no extra tracing or drawing or anything, but the advantage is you don't need it. I mean, the basically the resolution is so stinking high and so stinking far out that you can see what you're looking at regardless. So that's great. There's no batteries that you have to charge for this. Um, it comes with a nice compact case. Um, there's no need to remove the case of your phone currently to hook this up. I mean, I have to open that little door thing, that little port. You don't have to calibrate it. Um, you don't have to do any kind of camera alignment. I would love to have to do some camera alignment on this, by the way. Um, it does require a good phone and battery. I don't know what the deal is with exporting this, and I think that has more to do with my phone than it has in my the user of the phone than it does this. Um, but it does stick out a little bit, and it more so because I've got this little flap for being a waterproof phone. With that sticking out, I worry about smashing it. I worry about the long-term health of this device to be able to hold the water out. And it just kind of sticks out. Now I can take my phone case that I have on my hip that corresponds with the case on the phone. 
and I can actually put these together in that. But the way that sticks out, so it'd be clipped on my belt there. The way that sticks out, that'd get knocked around. So it's best to just take it off when you're done. One thing I've really thought a lot about is that you can do an extension cord to here and just run the cord, get a 90 degree type one, hopefully, just a short one. And then you could put it right next to your uh, camera phone. If you were to do that, you'd have the best of both worlds. Things would be really close, especially with it being an extended range. Um, if you were to zoom your phone in and this is zoomed in, then you've got a match made in heaven. You're good to go. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments. So use your really fancy smartphone, get one of these, save a bunch of money, match made in heaven, they're awesome. There's just a billion uses for these things. These things are gonna take off like wildfire. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, but let's get this thing out and take a look at it, shall we?